Hello and welcome to another Rotus Tech Tip. Today I'm going to be talking to you about doing circles and turns and figure of eights and doing them nicely. Um, something you've probably seen down the field quite a lot is this. So, model gets to the other end of the fight line, bang load of rudder in, and tail goes in the air, and it round turns. Now, don't get me wrong, it works, but it doesn't really look very pretty. Model's not really in control, and it makes it much harder to progress from figure of eight into nice circles and anything circular. So, things like funnels, hurricanes, circles in front of yourself, just anything like that. And it just puts a block on your progress. So, what we're going to do, instead of doing banging a load of rudder in, and a load of aileron in, to bang it around the turn, and it's stopping and claiming height and all this sort of stuff, what we're going to do is we're going to roll, pull a little bit of rudder. Roll it out, roll in, pull a little bit of rudder. Now, that was a bad example. <laughs> So, don't be too aggressive, roll, pull, a little bit of rudder. Now if you get the amount of, right, uh, amount of elevator right, it won't lose height and it won't gain height. If you get the amount of rudder wrong, what it will do is it will tend to stick the, rudder, stick the tail in the air. So what we're going to do to demonstrate this, I'm going to start, instead of doing figure of eight, I'm going to do circles. It's a nice continuous thing and you can really see what's going on. So. If I use too much rudder, look what happens. Model turns up and it ends up above your head, high, gaining height and stop. So, if you look, what the precursor to that is the tails in the air. So, if I, if I just keep it nice and steady in the circle, if I use a little bit too much rudder, look at, look at where the tail is. I'm going to force it in, keep it in. Look at where the tail is relative to the ground, relative to the horizon, it's, it's high isn't it? Nose is pointing at the ground, tail's in the air, and it's always trying to roll out. If you watch the um, visual transmitter, when this is happening, I'm having to feed quite a lot of left aileron in to make it maintain the circle. Okay, right, so that's, it. that's what's happened if you use too much rudder. Now, if you don't use enough rudder, what happens is the opposite. So the tail drops, and it rolls in and falls out the sky. Now if you're not quick enough, that ends up being quite a drastic loss of height and the ground gets in the way. So that's quite important to get that balance right of just how much rudder are you using. Too much it climbs, not enough it falls. Now here the collective is your speed control. So the more collective you feed in, the faster it goes, the steeper the angle of bank you need for the same size circle, and the more elevator you need to put it round the turn to maintain the size of the circle. So, if you're finding that it's going really, 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 really fast, just back off the collective a little bit, and it will slow down. And don't forget to do it in both directions. So you don't never get locked into doing it in one in one direction. Always make sure you do it in both both ways. Okay. So just to recap, just enough rudder to keep the tail flat. Elevator to pull it round the turn. Too much and it'll gain. Not enough and it'll fall. Too much rudder and it'll gain height. Not enough rudder and it'll fall. Collective is your speed control. Elevator is the size of the turn, and angle of bank is also the size of the turn. Okay, thank you very much for listening and good luck.